So I'm walking here in London and the brain is firing in all kinds of new ways. Here's why. You see, back in Ohio, things are pretty, things are pretty chill, right? Things are familiar. Things are controllable. But hopping on a plane, flying across the ocean, seven, eight hours, I'll tell you what, the brain is alive this morning. I'm staying at uh, a guest house, new house. I'm at a park, new park, <laughs> new country. I mean, it's just crazy. But here's the point. We have an Igniting Souls UK day today. And rather than just wake up and hit it, I told my guest, I said, hey man, can I go on a uh, run? So he kind of said, all right, man, you just go down the street. Once you see this, take a left, take a right. Anyway, I'm in this beautiful, beautiful park. The world is alive. But you know what? It got me thinking. I know why people want to stay safe. They want to stay secure. They want to stay in what's familiar. In the Lord of the Rings movie, we call this the Shire. The Shire was where Frodo and Bilbo had a very comfortable existence. They knew where their pipe was. They knew where their food was. Everything was predictable. And along comes Gandalf and says, hey, I have an adventure for you. And what I've realized is that most people don't want an adventure, let's be honest. Most people, their goal is to survive. That is their goal in life. Let's survive. But when you just survive, you fall asleep. Your brain goes on autopilot. You don't even need to think about anything. You just wake up and do routine over and over again. And there's a benefit from that. You're in control, everything's predictable, and uh, there's some negatives though. The negatives are you feel, you feel bored. You feel like you are not truly alive. See, every day, we, we love watching these movies, these shows, where every day the character is facing new new foes, new friends, new adventures. But then we look at our own lives and say, uh, you know, my biggest adventure is going to the grocery store and picking out a gallon of milk. Why is that? Does it have to be like that? I wanna challenge you today. There's a guy named Chet Scott who busted me up in the head a few years ago. He said, listen, Carrie, you can't take the ring and stay in the Shire. You can't have both. You have to decide what's it gonna be. Is it gonna be for you, a life of adventure, or a life of routine? And you have to live with the results. I'm excited today. I don't know what it's gonna bring. It's a total adventure. I feel, I feel like behind every bush, behind every tree, who knows what's gonna happen. We're here and the sunrise is happening. I'm gonna go run on these paths and make it up as I go. And I'm gonna be around all kinds of fantastic guests from England here later today. I just wanna encourage you, step out of the Shire. Step out of the Shire today. It's worth it, life is short. And uh, don't get locked in the routine because when you do, your soul falls asleep. It's time to wake it up. This is Carrie Overrunner. Be a soul on fire. We'll see you soon.